dinero Si tienen la verdad siempre llegará primero Pero ya sabemos antes o después Hola de los suyos, que de todas las veces Y por cuanto tarde no veré papel Somos malos buenos y tenemos que ver el dinero Ya lo haré, ya lo vendo mi alma, lo lograré Seré el más grande por mí Money world, money world, what's going on, what's going on, good people of YouTube, welcome back, welcome back to our Classy Academy. So, welcome back, big shout outs, big shout outs, shout outs to our confident, intelligent, assertive and respectable man. And also to shout out our beautiful, feminine, friendly and inspirational ladies. Wow, 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 <laughs> tonight. Tonight, ladies, listen up, listen up, because I'm going to teach you again. Yep. As promised, here comes a part two of free of total free part video based on topic 21 way to cultivate yourself to cultivate yourself as a classy woman or classy lady. Wow! 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 All right! All right! Well, one thing is certain. With this one, I'm going to make some. I'm gonna piss some people off so they want to snap me out like that. Thanos. Yep. Yep. Some of those angry, angry, toxic feminists are gonna. They want to snap me out this time. Oh yeah, because I'm going to dig in deep. So let's begin. Ladies, next step of becoming a classy, or call yourself classy, and being classy is what? You have to be punctual. Yep, I said it, I said it, I said it, I said it. Yep, I said it. Ladies, being punctual is not only important for a man, for a gentleman, but also for you ladies. Regardless if you are classy lady, if you belong to the classy lady category or not. So, if you're a classy lady in training, then listen up and take notes. So, be punctual. Why is it important? Simple. Because being punctual displays and, no, displays your classiness, displays your respect towards other people's time. So, here's another question for you. So, here's a question which pops in anyone's mind. Why, should be, why is it so important to be punctual? Or even better, even better ladies, even better. How come that a classy woman is always on time? Well, simple. Reason number one. Classy woman is always on the go. She's always on the roll. Yep, she's always on the go. Yep. Why? Because she she is she's busy. Always she needs to go. She has things things to do. She has to meet people, different places, and she knows that it is important to be on time. So she prefers to like to arrive earlier or on time, and at the same time she knows that being late shows disrespect to others next ladies oh yeah I'm going to hit that one I'm going to hit another roll nerve here practice etiquette okay sorry about that I got some technical difficulties but now they are solved to continue ladies if you want to be classy, and for all my ladies who are classy lady in training, practice etiquette. Why? Because practicing etiquette and learning and practicing etiquette is displaying what? It's displaying that you are well mannered, meaning that you are courteous, meaning that you are polite and respectful, and at the same time, you have a right to expect that you will receive respect from others. That's a big one, ladies. That is a really a big one. I cannot stress this enough, ladies. You have to practice, practice your etiquette. Full stop. All times. Etiquette here 
as a class regardless if you're talking about a classy classy man or a gentleman or a classy lady classy woman practicing etiquette is non negotiable yep i said oh mm, 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 mm. yep i said i said it i said it i said and i will say it again ladies you have to practice your etiquette I know, I know for a fact that I'm going to stir some trouble among feminists. Why? Because they've been teaching you all these things and all this nonsense that you as a lady can do what you want, however you want, and practicing etiquette is not important because for them, they because for them, what it matters is that they get their own way. So ladies, these kind of toxic people, they don't care about you. Nope, they don't care about you, ladies. Nope. So, for all my ladies and my classy ladies in training, listen up. You have to practice your etiquette. Because otherwise, you won't, you won't be respected and you won't be considered classy. And well-mannered, well among others. Next one. Say what you mean. Yep, ladies, that's another big one. Why is this important? Because class as, as a woman, that regardless if a man or a woman, one thing is one thing is certain, and that's a fact. That is a fact, ladies. Being being saying what you mean is a big one. Not only for average per people, but also for people who are high value. High earners, high value. For these kind of people, saying what you mean is very important. Back, back to, the, back to it. Say what you mean, ladies. What does it mean? That means you must be honest. You must not beat up around the bush or lie. And ladies, even if you know deep down and feel deep down that. There's something that you you have to say, but it is not pleasant. You have to find, you you have to approach this situation accordingly. You need to use appropriate words, and you need to act with class. That means you need to be polite, carry yourself with dignity and grace. Yep. Yep. Politeness, dignity, and grace, ladies. You need to carry yourself like that. When you when you are dealing with all kinds of things, including things that are not pleasant to say, which means, in other term said, when you're dealing with truth, which is not pleasant, and we know that truth is not pleasant. Next one. Mean what you say. It's very it's very closely connected to the say what you mean. So, ladies, and to all my ladies in training, mean what you say. Means that you need to keep your word. Yep, you need to keep your word. Oh, yep, I said, oh, mm, 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 mm. I said, I said, I said again. I know, I know, I'm gonna stir some trouble again. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa, some of them are going to be pissed tonight. Oh, yes, some of them are gonna piss tonight. Because I'm giving you the proper layer to be classy. Classy in, in every way. So, ladies, you need to keep your word. Be a woman of your word. You need to keep your promises. Uphold obligations. Your own obligations. Regardless, especially if your these obligations are towards others. Like your friends, family, co-workers, or your boss, whatever obligations, duties, you need to, you need to uphold them because they matter. And ladies, also very important, you must know this: classy woman who is a woman of the world, she is not flanky or wishy-washy or similar, or she doesn't have a similar traits or similar reputation of a woman or a lady no said she doesn't have a reputation or traits of a woman from the hood that means a low value woman 
she doesn't have her traits or her characteristics. She's not called it the same way. Nope. Because here in this classy academy, we teach class. Yep, we teach class. So, ladies, those two are very, very close to knit together. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Next one. You need to practice gratitude. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Mm. Ooh, we're going to be. Yeah, I'm going to stir some trouble tonight. Yep, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to stir some trouble tonight. Mm. Ladies, bottom line practice gratitude is important because practicing gratitude is important because it displays your manners, it displays your class, and makes a clear then people can make a clear distinction what kind of person you are. Are you a low value person or a high value person? That means are you a person with no class, with no etiquette, or are you sophisticated? Person of class. So, back to it. You need to practice your gratitude from the heart. Yes, it takes the, it takes the gratitude starts from the heart. The good things that come your way, you need to be grateful for them. And if someone offers you and offers you help and provides help and assistance, you need to uh, you need to respond you know, accordingly. Like thank you, or or if you're asking for uh, assistance, can you, excuse me, could you please help me out, or this and that, whatever the situation is. Bottom line, ladies, using simple words like please. Thank you, excuse me, etc., etc., is something that will help you and allow others to to make sure that uh, you that that they think of you as a person of class. That's important. <clears throat> Next one, ladies. Whoa. Next one is also very important, ladies. So listen up. You need to practice good posture. Yep. I said. Okay, ladies. Let's continue. The next one is also is also a big one. You need to practice good posture. Why? Because a woman of class or a classy lady, she knows what by practicing and having good posture is displaying. And conveying a message clear distinctive message to others that she is a person who is sophisticated of class a person with manners with good etiquette so practicing good posture is important here's why because a classy woman she does not I said it again she does not drag her feet she doesn't slouch when sitting or standing she does not spread her legs like a stripper oh, mm, 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 mm. Now, mm, i'm gonna piss someone off oh yeah oh yes oh yes oh yes mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, I said, I said, a classy woman, a classy lady does not spread her legs like a stripper or conveys the moves of a stripper or low value woman. And also, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one, oh shit, mm, mm. oh shit. Mm. A classy woman, when she practices a good posture, means what? She does not twerk in public. Nope. She does this only in private with her man, be this her boyfriend or her husband. She is never doing this in public. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> 
I pissed how many people off tonight? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Next one. Next one, but not the last one. Ladies, do not gossip or complain. Woohoo. Why? Because you know that you know the old saying. If you don't have anything nice to say, it's better to say anything at all. Just remember this. However, why is it important? Because complaining, nagging, being wishy-washy, gossiping, all these toxic behaviors are not acceptable. Not in our circles. So ladies, and especially for my ladies who are classy ladies in training, do not complain, do not gossip. And if you have any of those toxic traits, toxic behaviors, get rid of them. Get rid of them. The sooner you do, the better. Because bottom line, ladies, being classy means that you need to, that you are sophisticated, you, you are refined, you practice your etiquette. You are polite, you know your wardrobe, you know how to conduct yourself in any situation. So, that's the bottom line, ladies. There's nothing more to say. Because all these words here, if I say anything more, yes, it won't be good. And, not to mention that I don't want to reveal anything that's going to come up in next videos. So, I'm going to keep this excitement up. So, if you've come yourself in a situation when you have to complain about something, for example, the food or the drink, do it in appropriate manner. And in more important, ladies, if you have to make a feedback towards your host, or regardless of the whole, your, or who your host is, bottom line, you need to convey your feedback in appropriate manner. And that's about it, ladies. That's about it for tonight. <laughs> well, stay tuned for the part three, which is gonna come up in sun this Sunday. Yep. It's gonna come up in Sunday. Stay tuned for it because it is important. Because we're gonna final up, finalize the 21 step of becoming, of cultivating yourself as a classy. Ladies, bottom line, my final words for you is what? Be classy, behave well, be feminine, be inspirational, and always rely on your natural beauty. Until we meet next time. Peace.